All right, today I'm going to show you uh, how to remove this worm gear. Now this is pressed on, and this is from a, <clears throat> a Echo uh, CS400 chainsaw. So we have two ways we're going to try this, right? Um, we're going to build something. Right? So we're going to use some plumbing parts. So this is a uh, a bushing, a hex bushing. It's three fourths by one by half inch. Let's zoom back out to get the part number. So it's the part number right there. S two one dash nine four three HP and this this is also a number for the manufacturer I think, which is one oh three seven nine nine. Okay? So this is a hex cushion. Looks like that. Three fourths half inch okay now this is optional we might not need this so I'm not sure something else this is just helps if it's uh, kind of uh, short okay this will need it this is a uh, what is this called uh-huh nice and blurry it's a three-fourths by half inch galvanized reducer so this is a reducer the part number on that is uh, mm, 311R. Yeah, good luck with that. Okay, so it's a 3 fourths by half inch galvanized reducer coupling. last part right is going to be this uh, hex bushing again it's a galvanized iron it's three-fourths by quarter inch now the the material doesn't matter because it's just it's just for pulling and this part number is five one one nine four one HN and uh, another number you can use is eight three two eight six three okay so these these are this is made by Sutherland this is also um, Sutherland also, and this is also Sutherland. All right, so we got those three parts, and then we're going to need a bolt. Right, this bolt here is a 1.5 um, thread pitch metric bolt, and it is um, M M12. Hmm. I'm 12? No, I'm 14. Ooh, I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, it's an M12. It's an M12 bolt. Okay. M12 1.5 pitch. And it is, the length is approximately, so I'm assuming it's probably 40, 40, uh, it says 47.63, 48 millimeters maybe? Yeah, probably that. Okay, 48 millimeters, the length, get a longer one, because uh, the longer the better, it gives you more options. All right. Okay, so those are all the parts we need, right? And uh, another thing we have here, right, is this puller. Right, so we're gonna try this first. This is a really small puller. We'll see how that works. All right, so uh, we need to, okay, this is pressed on, right? And uh, we gotta establish how far, because hopefully we'll be able to put it back on. And I have a feeling it probably just gets kind of smushed together, but if not, we need to know how far to go. So, let's see what we have. How far down is this? So I just kind of like need to figure out 
approximately how far down this thing goes. Right. So I'm seeing it's roughly 28 millimeters. Okay, so 28 millimeters from the hand end to there. Sorry for me. So now that we have an idea how far it is from the end, right? We know when we, if we were we put it back together, it should press on and it should end there. Okay. So here we go. I'll show you the first way we're going to do this. So what we'll do is. Uh, Two hex bolts, right? I mean, uh, what are these called? These are called uh, hex pushins, right? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we put our adapter on, our half inch, three fourths adapter. There's a three fourths, sorry, half inch side screws down like this. No, 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 no. That's not what we want first. We want this one here. Oh. See, this one has thread, this one's threaded and this one's not on the inside so that's what makes them different so take the threaded side here kind of screw it down like that now in my mind i'm thinking we can just probably put this on here and kind of pull it off right if it feels like it's going to fail i'm going to bail out this just a little. Just so the threads turn nicely. Okay, so that's pretty much what we're going to try first. I don't want to do too much pressure on it, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so if you had this puller set up, right, you're just going to go like this. Go like that. It's going to turn it, turn it, turn it till it pulls it off, right? No big deal. So, should work. But we're not going to really do it, are we? No, I don't think so. Alright, so false positive. I just wanted to show you how to set it up, but I want to turn just a little bit. Let me see here. Yeah, that looks like that's something going to pull that right off, okay? Alright, I'm going to show you the second way to do this. Second way to do this, right? Again, use the three fourths to a half inch. I'm sorry, not this one. We want this, the reducer. So we're gonna do a half inch here. To three fourths. And so we screw that on. And then we take this three fourths to quarter inch, right? Hex pushing, and we screw that into here. Like that. And we take the bolt. Okay. It's going to go a little, little, little lube. Actually, no, you know what? I'm forgetting something really important. So I have a whole bunch of. Uh, I don't want to destroy the crankshaft, so we're going to use a like a little bearing, a little ball bearing. If you've watched this channel, that those bearings are from the uh, the saw that I fixed. And take this put it on top of there like that so that way we don't damage the crankshaft and we tighten down the bolt on it right okay put a little put a little oil on the uh, bolt itself this will increase the overall torque we can get out of this That screws all the way down inside. 
feels a little sloppy, but it works. Ah, there we go. It is off. And where's my Baron? My Baron go. Okay, it's over there. Okay, as you can see, I pulled it right out. Okay, so that, with that, and then that right there. Cool? Alright, so let's see, I should unscrew that. Maybe not so easy. <laughs> what do you think? Let's see how much we gotta struggle here. Bingo. See, and that's that. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And that's just pressed onto there. Now, why why do we need to um, know how to pull this, this bearing out? That's pretty simple. The, uh, I'll just know, the orientation's like this. Okay, the, this rubber gasket here that covers the bearing, it's an oil seal, sorry. All right, this needs to be replaced sometimes, so they leak, so that's why we're doing that. Cool? Alright. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, show your support by uh, sharing this content with someone else that probably will be in a situation like this. And uh, leave a comment below and have a great day.